morning, everyone. Good morning. Hi, how are you all doing today? I promised you this uh, meditation a few days ago, and <laughs> it's been a wild, it's been a wild couple of days. First, I wanted to thank everyone for the support on my post yesterday. That was literally the most terrifying post I've ever put up in many ways, and yet I was in such a don't give a fuck attitude that it has been one of the most successful posts ever as well. Um, it's really crazy to think that just two years ago, I was, you know, totally terrified of my body, was overweight, was still suffering from the effects of fibromyalgia, was still dealing with so much trauma in my body, and was really still in a place where I didn't understand why, um, why women celebrated who they were in that way. I definitely was super grossed out by my period. I thought that it was the worst fucking thing in the world that you could ever have. I got super irritated all the time because I was not having any more children and didn't like that I was going to have to spend another 40 years dealing with it. So to move from that space and sit uh, July of 2018, posting my first ever picture of me in like my bra and underwear off of an intuitive hit to then losing almost half my body weight in a couple of months from doing naked mirror mantras and uh, adding self-pleasure and dance and sensuality into my life and then continuing that journey of now really embodying the priestess and really embodying the goddess and really knowing that my body truly is a temple and those who worship at it are um, are are ones that I choose, right? And it's always something that you need to really to know that you are the one that's in control of your body. If you're going through a hard time, you don't need to like go have sex to make it feel better. Go numb yourself with that. You don't need to go and do drugs or alcohol. Like I've done the gambit, guys. I've done it all. I've been um, overweight, depressed, suicidal day drinking, dealing with pharmaceutical addictions, dealing with cannabis addiction even in many ways. It wasn't that I was addicted specifically to the plant, it was that I was numbing my body and numbing my body with sex and numbing my body in so many ways. So to be able to allow myself to be fully engaged in my body is a huge, huge thing. And then to have that experience yesterday with the moon blood and the cacao and all of that was just, it was, beyond next level. It was beyond next level. And the support that I've received, my inbox has been flowing over with people who have been in support of the post and understanding that this really is a time for revolutionary change. Resourcing your own divinity, resourcing the fact that you are the priestess, that you have all of the keys and codes already inside of you is really truly the most revolutionary act that you can commit in this time. To know that you are the treasure and that your treasure is really buried deep within your womb and that the way to unlock that Trevor treasure is to shine a little light on it and to bring it fully into the body. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to do a practice that I do daily to be able to call in the soul contracts necessary for me to create the vision, which is to build a, you know, a, a center, a, a, a utopia in many ways not just one, but many all over the world, places where people can go and heal, who can go and learn the ancient magic, who can go and work the land, no matter what class you are, no matter how much money you have, there's different spaces within each of the properties for you. And it's really this vision that I've had on my heart to be able to serve billions of people to help end the illusion of suffering for the entire planet so that we can have everyone be able to have access to clean food and water and drinking sorry, and drinking water and medicine and education and technology so that they can advance their own creativity and to really contribute to the planet instead of being so locked down in our root, which is what that um, the biggest message that I got yesterday when I was covered in my moon blood and cacao and moon water that I was receiving from Kali Ma and from Divine Mother is build it and they will come, build it and they will be able to serve in such beautiful ways. And the planet that I see in my visions when I'm channeling, when I'm in my clairvoyant state, when I'm uh, really just connecting with the sun and 
and moon and the planets and the stars, I see this beautiful, beautiful planet really transforming and transfiguring into a state of pure bliss. It really is heaven on earth when you choose to embody your vision instead of waiting before you take the leap. So the meditation that we're going to do has some body movement in it. So make sure that you have some space. I've got some space here. Not a lot because I'm at a different location than I'm used to being at, but we're going to make it work. Um, and I want you to really connect into your body here. So we're going to just take a couple of rounds of breath first. So close your eyes, placing your left hand on your heart and your right hand on top of it. And just take a few deep breaths. Exhaling through the mouth. As you breathe in, letting your belly expand outwards. And as you exhale, pulling the navel just a little bit towards the spine. Nice deep Buddha belly breathing here. I want you to now pull into your mind's eye, into your imagination, what it is that you desire to create. Not for yourself, not because having that thing is going to make your life better, but because doing so is going to make the entire planet better. When we're able to move out of our own suffering and discomfort and start looking at the bigger picture, the universe really responds to that higher level of vibration instead of that, oh, well, I need this and I need that and I will love and that oh, I desire to serve the planet in this way. I desire to show up in this way. And I want you to just see how you are when you have that. When you know that you have created the amazing business that serves men, women, and, or children and children all along the planet, when you've created the new healing modality, when you've created the new product, whatever it is that you truly desire to be doing in service, what does it look like? What are you wearing? What kind of food are you eating? What sort of exercise routine do you have? What's your communication with the divine look like? Breathing here and just connecting to that place. This is a future timeline. You can have this. The fact that you're able to imagine it means that it exists in the quantum. And now the only thing that you must do to create it is to dissolve all limitations and beliefs that say that you can't have it connecting into what it is that you truly want this planet to look like in the next year by November of 2021 how will the entire planet be different because of you <sighs> pulling that into your body is very simple so what we do is we start I just, we had our hands on our heart and then we just pull that feeling from our heart and rub it into our hands. And we allow that feeling to then go up our arms and across our throat and down the other arm and back up again. Connecting across the bosom, chest area, down. And you're just gonna move that feeling through your entire body all the way across your belly and your womb, down your legs, down your legs, into your feet, making sure you ground into your feet. So I'm grabbing my foot here, up the legs, up the back of the legs, to your booty, up your back, holding it over again, back down again. And then down the other side, grabbing your leg, really massaging that feeling into your body, all the way down to your foot again, and then back up, up your booty, up your back, pulling it, up your neck, 
over your head, your ears, your throat, your face. You're bathing yourself in the knowing that this vision exists. So come back now, close your eyes, and just continue to touch your body using your hand chakra activation. Come back to your heart. See that version of you. What does she look like? What is she doing? What does it feel like to be in that new home that you know is going to be so much more supportive so that you can continue creating the business, the life of your dreams? What does it feel like to see your children playing in the yard or to walk the dog in the new neighborhood? What does it feel like to be holding the hand of your lover? What does it feel like to be serving those clients and customers? What does it feel like when you're at work with your colleagues? What does it feel like when you're in the community helping those who are less fortunate because you know that you are so supported that you can give and give. You can feel like Dolly Parton who isn't a billionaire for the only reason because she donates millions and millions of dollars every year. Connecting deeper into the heart now, really pulling that version of you into the future, from the future into the present. And then continuing again, just moving your hands throughout your body. You can keep your eyes closed if you would like. Touching every single part of you with this vision, with this feeling, with this knowing. Allowing your chest to shine so you can do some chest circles, which is just pushing your chest out and then curving back in. Allowing the shoulders to roll, allowing the hips to move, just moving, moving within this frequency, moving within this place, moving within the knowing that it's already done because your thoughts truly are things. You've already created it in your mind. And the only thing that you now have to do is dissolve any limitations that you have installed in your belief system. This is where using magic and movement and structural alignment and integration of the shadow really becomes your life's work. It becomes what you live and breathe, not because you judge your shadow, not because you judge those parts of you, but because you love and accept yourself as you are right now, knowing that where you are right now is how you then create your future. When you have a knowing in your heart and in your mind and in your bones that you are creating that future that you can see in your mind's eye, you don't have to be upset about where you are right now. And that makes it easier to take those leaps of faith necessary when you say, I have no fucking clue how I'm gonna do this, but I know that this is what I need to do next. You go and you do it. You take the leap because you know that who you are right now is the past for that version of you in the future that has that manifestation in form that you have now coded into your body via this practice. It's a beautiful practice. It takes maybe 10 minutes or less every day. You can add some music if you want to, some of those really good jams that you put on. And just connect. Connect and pull out of the head. We, we spend so much time in our head. We spend so much time in the causal plane and we need to pull it down into our hearts, into our pussy, into the root, into the seed that then blooms and grows and becomes that vision. And that way we can be grateful for where we are right now, no matter what's happened in the past. Knowing that our current situation is a reflection of our past choices and our future is a reflection of our current choices. So thank you so much for joining me today on this practice. I'm so excited. Please leave in the comments how this felt, what came up for you. Feel free to reach out if you are interested in being able to accelerate this process. Make sure that you have signed up for the Accelerated Ascension Bootcamp. It's a six-part video series that I created to help you learn how to truly embody this, to pull all four bodies together into the true self. I will leave the link here in the comments. I have it on an introductory offer right now for $44. It will be going up to $77 next week. So make sure that you've gotten your, your copy. There's a workbook, there's slides, there's videos. It's very beautiful, amazing uh, course that I created for you all to have access to the ability to embody the vision of your future right now. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you.